Welcome back to my Next.js course. Today, we're going to talk about images in Next.js. Next provides an image component which allows you to render optimized images in your views. The component enables multiple optimization options. First, the image component will generate multiple optimized sizes for every viewport. Second, it will ensure visual stability by automatically setting the width and height of locally imported images. Lastly, it will ensure faster page speed loads with multiple measures. The images outside of the viewport will be lazy loaded with native browser lazy loading and blurred placeholders. Let's use the component in practice. First, import it from next image. We'll first talk about local images. I've prepared a sample image in WebP format. To use it, I will import it as well. Now I can use the image component by providing the imported image in the source prop. I will also set the alternative text. As this image is local, there's no need to add the width and height. Next will automatically set them. If I test now with a throttled network, you can see that my width and height are set correctly, as the text beneath the image does not jump. But there is only empty space while the image is loading. Next also supports blurry image placeholders. What I must do to enable them is set the placeholder property to blur, and set the blur data URL property to a base64 encoded string of the blurry image. As this is a local image, the blur data URL property is not required as next will generate it automatically. If I refresh now, I set the blurry placeholder while the image is loading, and then the full resolution image loads on top of it. You will also notice that we are currently loading only one size, which is not optimal for smaller devices. You can set the sizes prop, which accepts the same value as the native image sizes attribute. Here I can use multiple media queries and specify the image width. The difference compared to the native image element is that Next will automatically generate a source set with different image sizes. As I have a 960 pixel wide container, I will set the image width to 960 pixels above that viewport size and 100 view width for all other sizes beneath that. If I refresh now, you see that Next has generated my default source set for multiple default breakpoints. These are only the defaults, and you can specify your own breakpoints in the Next config.js file. Just define a device sizes array in the images object. If I rebuild and refresh now, you'll see that the generated source set now follows my device sizes specification. You can also set the quality prop to control the level of quality to which the image is optimized. It is an integer prop, which accepts values from 1 to 100. It defaults to 75, and you can change it if you have quality issues or if you need a smaller size image in your specific case. If you want to use remote images, you can specify the image URL in the source attribute. Then you have to specify the width and height of the image as Next cannot analyze the file if it's not local. If I test my app now, it will give me an error. To allow loading and optimizing images from external URLs, you have to add the URL pattern to the Next config.js file. Additionally, if you want a blurry version of the image while it's loading, you will have to provide the blur data URL manually. You can use an online tool like blur.dev or just use any other design software to generate it. I'll use the online tool. You just upload the image and the simplified base64 string is generated. We just have to paste this base64 string in the board data URL property. Now, if I test the application, I get the remote image and the blurry base64 placeholder while it's loading. If you want to use relative URLs for remote images, you can specify a loader function. The loader function accepts an object as a parameter, which can have three properties, source, width, and quality. 
it has to then return an absolute URL. And you can use the attributes faster parameters to build it. Width and quality can be used if you have an image server which supports dynamic image generation with parameters. You then specify your loader in the next config.js file. Just set the loader property to custom and the loader file to the file path to the loader function. You can also set an image to fill its parent container using the boolean fill property. This will absolutely position the image and make it fill the parent element. Naturally, the parent has to have position relative or absolute if you set the image property fill to true. When you use fill, you don't need to worry about cumulative layout shift as the image is absolutely positioned and it will not cause shifts in the layout. Another performance consideration is largest contentful paint. It is a metric that measures the time it takes for the largest text block or image to appear on screen. If the largest visible element on the page is an image, you can set the priority boolean attribute to it. This will indicate to Next that it should prioritize the loading of this image using preload headers and priority hints. This can improve the performance of your view, but do not use this attribute on every image. My advice is to only use it if the image is the largest element in the view and it's above the fold. With this, I'll wrap today's video. As you can see, there are quite a few details around images in Next. The good thing is that the image component which Next provides automates many optimization tasks which you would need to do manually otherwise. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the next video in the series is released. Take care.